I'm an addict for sneakers, 20s of Buddha and bitches with beepers in the streets I could reach her. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Nature with OG. Often imitated, never duplicated. Break you the best on feats in the game. Yo, before we move further, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring the hell out of that notification bell so you can stay in tune with all the fire that I got coming today. We are going to do a collection video. Now, one of my subscribers sent me a personal message asking me, like, yo, you be having all this early stuff, you be having some fire stuff. Yo, what type of collection do you have? Do you mind showing us your collection? You know something? I'm like, mm, why not? It's not like I don't have the time to do this. I do have 70 something sneakers in my collection. Um, if I had to gauge the value, and this is like a rough estimate, I would say that I have like, my collection is value. If I had to put a dollar amount on it, I would say that it's valued at 30 to $40,000. I have a $30,000, $40,000 collection, and that might seem like a lot, but it's really not, you know what I mean? If you think about it, it's really not, it, and that's just, you know, that's like a rough estimate. I mean, I think, I think it's good, I think it's good. But anyway, so in my collection, be warned, there's some hype items, there's some trash items, it is what it is. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these items, let's go ahead and get into this video. This is gonna be a, it's gonna be a lot of editing. It's gonna be a bitch to edit this joint, but I am gonna get it done. Probably ain't gonna get it done today, but I am gonna get it done. So let's go ahead and get into the collection right about now. So the first shoe that we have in the collection is this joint right here. Is it fire? Is it hype? Is it trash? Is these right here? Boom! Yo, we got the Air Jordan Fearless joint. I did get this point for resale. I think I paid like $250 for this. Um, I think it's still going for that much. So I'm a big fan of Jordan 1, so boom. Jordan 1, Fearless, that's one. Next, get this out of here. Uh, so why show you one Fearless and not bring another one? So this is the women's exclusive pair that came out during All-Star Weekend. Got this, this is the recent pickup for your boy. Hey, it is what it is. So that Jordan 1, again. This one, oh, there's a story to this one. I was able to get this one because I was actually invited to an event by um, a blogger. Her name is uh, Takara Devon. She invited me to an event, so that was pretty dope. I was able to get these for retail. Didn't have to stand in any lines or anything, and I got these joint. Wasn't even trying, and they fell into my lap, so boom, that's dope. Next shoe, get this one out of here. Boom, the Melanie Asani, you know, that joint with the clock on there. If you knew what you had was rare, would you keep it? These are fire, I like these. Haven't worn them yet. A few people are mad at me about this shoe. It is what it is, I'm not mad at them that they're mad at me. Anyway, let's get this one out of here. Boom! Next sneaker in my collection is the Jordan Cement 3. Nothing like having the OGs in the collection. Yo, this shoe is dope. Yeah, this one got that Nike Air on the back. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? I love this shoe, you know what I mean? This is, uh, I bought this shoe more or less because it is the OG. You gotta have that in the collection. And plus, I was trying to co complete like a braided collection, have all the black and red colorways that Jordan has uh, played in. Definitely, so when I get my crib, I can have them on display. Kind of like what they have in Nike Town, you know what I'm saying? So I thought that'd be kind of dope, have a braided display inside the crib. Dope shoe, classic. You gotta have this in your collection if you don't got it. You're playing yourself, go get it. Let's go ahead and get to the next shoe. Get this one out of here. We the best! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If we're talking threes, I might as well go ahead and bring these out. Another all star, all star exclusive. Yeah. All star exclusive. The Nike shine on the back. Y'all already know what this is. You know what I'm saying, I'm not really going to it. Got these all star weekend. Glad I was able to get them. This pair is dope. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get to the next shoe. Bang! Bang! Boom, 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 boom. Another ladies exclusive. Now this is the Satin Shattered Backboards. You know what I mean? Was able to get this pair. This is actually my wife's kick. I couldn't get it in my size. I thought about buying it in my size, especially since the hype kind of went down. I was gonna get it so that we can be having his and hers. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. These have been worn. She definitely did wear these to a concert. You know what I mean? I'm glad she wore them. At first I bet she didn't like them, but she's never worn them again. So they've just been sitting in the closet, and we got these. I don't know, maybe we'll do a giveaway of her sneaker. This is a size 8. That's the size of my wife. Anyway, satin shattered shat backboards. I love Jordan 1s. Let's get to the next kick. Boom! So, now we kind of getting into the hype. 
the Off-White Jordan 1. Now, this shoe definitely does have a story behind it. I'll put a picture right here. Yo, I won this at Boneyard Chicago. I went there for the re-grand opening of their uh, new space. I'm one of the people that used to go in there all the time playing a Keymaster. Never won a Keymaster in my life. Um, actually hit, I had me and my guys there and I hit this joint. <laughs> it was a crazy situation. I won this shoe for 40 bucks. Off-White Jordan 1 uh, UNC. The only thing about it, it is definitely is not my size. It is a size 10. This is a size 10, you know what I mean? When these did release in Chicago, they were everywhere. Um, at that time, I was the job that I had, I was always out of town, so I wasn't able to get this shoe. A uh, few people had the shoe. Um, I thought somebody would have looked out, but you know, it is what it is. But I was able to get this. 40 bucks, the universe works in mysterious ways, and this did come into my lap, a Jordan 1 off-white situation. Yo, you can't be mad at that. I even licked the bottom of these joints, Fat Joe style, in the picture. It was crazy. I love this shoe, this means a lot to me. That's the only reason this shoe will not ever leave my collection, more or less because of the way I want it. It was an amazing feeling, especially from a store that I love. Boneyard Chicago, your number one spot for vintage, whatever, this is not a commercial. Let's go ahead and get to the next shoe. <laughs> oh, you already know what it is. These are the Bordeaux Sevens, yo. I love this shoe more or less because I'm a Michael Jackson fan and I'm a Michael Jordan fan. Who wore them better, MJ or MJ? <laughs> anyway, yo, I did get this shoe. The low key, this is shoe is fire. This is a classic. You don't have this in your collection. You playing yourself. The thing is, I got this joint from the outlets, man. Can you believe that? Got this from the outlets. I'm sure if this shoe came out now, the way things are so hyped up in the sneaker game, this definitely would not have made it to the outlets. How much did I pay for this joint? I paid 150 bucks. I don't know if you guys can see that. You know what I mean? $150. That's what I paid for them. The retail price was, oh, the stickers. Oh, the retail price was $190. So um, I saved uh, 50, 60, 70, I saved 40 bucks. You know what I mean? Got it. It came inside the. Uh, the 30th anniversary box with the gold Jordan there, so that's that. Let's go ahead and get to the next shoe. Cause who the fuck cares about a box? Come on, fucking box. I care about what's inside the box. Let's go. Red Jordan 11. This is the pair that recently just came out um, with the high cut pad leather, as you can see. You know what I'm saying? 23 on the back. Yo, this is a fire shoe. I like this shoe a lot. Uh, I don't even think I tried this on. I heard people complaining that the fit isn't right. Um, I really hope it is. I should try it on. Uh, I'm gonna put this one to the side. Some of these shoes, yeah, I'm definitely gonna put this one to the side. I, I gotta try this on, but that's that. You know, you seen one bread, you seen them all. Let's go to the next shoe. Boop! Yo, yo, yo! I am a Jordan 1 fan. You're definitely gonna be seeing a lot of Jordan 1s in my collection. This here is the Laney Jordan 1. This joint right here is fire to me, man. I love this shoe. Um, Again, this is another one that I picked up. It was actually on clearance. I got this from Bella for $50. $50, man. Like, yo, the game ain't what it used to be, man. When you used to be able to find those type of steals, man, that's just, that was an amazing feeling, man. That, you'll never see that again, especially for a shoe like this. This thing is straight fire. The quality on this joint is amazing, man. Can you believe that? These things are beautiful. Yo, I love this shoe, the Laney colorway. Fire to me. Let's go to the next shoe. Hey, boom! Jordan 1 Royal. This thing is fire. Fire to me, man. This shoe, I love this shoe. The first time this shoe came out, I was actually at my job. I used to work at Walgreens. I was there and I was like, yo, I was calling my sister up. Yo, can you get up there? Can you get up there? She played me. She said she was going to go up to the store and go get them for me. She got there late. They were all gone. Uh, my friend at the time, I was asking him about them. He was like, oh, it should be up there. It was all gone. Nobody knew that these are the truth. I really love this shoe. This is like one of my favorite Jordan ones, my favorite colorway. I haven't worn this one because I have a project that I'm trying to do. Something like, um, what's your man named? DS Dan. I think that's his name or something, the Dan Life. Anyway, I wanna put Swarovski crystals on here. Uh, black and blue joints, I think that'd be fire. And definitely with some different laces, maybe like the leather laces. I think that'd be dope. That is something that I'm working on. The whole thing is just trying to get Swarovski crystals in bulk. If anybody knows how to get them in bulk for a decent price. I don't want the cheap, cheap price. 
but for a decent price. Yo, point me in the right direction, man. I'm really trying to get that done. Holla at your boy. Let's get to the next kick. Fire! So, another Jordan release. This is the UNC um, almost a P. This is the almost PE UNC Jordan release that they recently released. Um, as you can see, I'm just going from like the top to bottom. This row, then I'm gonna go to the next row, then I'm gonna go to the next row. I got a gang of shit over here. <sighs> We're gonna get to it. I don't know. But anyway, this is the UNC3. Like this shoe, dope shoe just came out. You already know what it is. You've seen this shoe before. Ain't nothing new. Ain't nothing to talk about. Let's go to the next one. Well, y'all. You know, we have to get that. You know what I'm saying? The Jordan 8s. Yo, this is like my favorite. Jordan 8. This is my favorite Jordan 8 colorway. This colorway and actually the stealth colorway. Yo, these is fire. Another Jordan 8. Nothing to talk about. OG. Gotta have it. Let's go to the next pair. Let's go. Boom! Flu Games, man. Yo, <laughs> the Flu Games. Hey, it's crazy. You're holding this shoe, the Flu Games, right now with everything that's going on. Yo, this shoe is fire. End up getting this shoe. Um, from Lucky Town, Chicago. And they did give me like a special thing to go with it. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Here in Chicago, they actually gave you this uh, little towel, man. Something cute to have. You know, just like some memorabilia. 97, 93, you know what I'm saying? I mean, 38. It was a uh, year 1970, 1997. 38 points that he scored. You know what I'm saying? Flu game, fire. What we talking about? We talking about fire, excellence. Let's go ahead and get to the next pair. Like I said before, I'm definitely trying, I was trying to grab all the black and red colorways. So you already know I was gonna have this pair. This pair is notorious. The Jordan 1, oh, we gotta get this, gotta get this up a little bit higher. There we go. So you already know I was gonna have this pair. The Jordan 1, this pair is notorious all around the world. Yo, if you ain't got this pair, I don't know what you doing. But if this pair ever comes out again, this colorway, make sure you grab it. You gotta have this. You gotta have it. Let's go to the like. Woo, 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 woo. Pine green Jordan ones. Like I really like this shoe. This is another recent release. The only thing I don't like about it, and nobody likes about it, and Jordan brand take heed. Stop doing this. Stop doing this. I don't care about this. People, I, I like this. Ain't nothing wrong with this. But, yo, what, what, we do, what we doing with this? Like, what we doing with it? You know what I mean? I still like the shoe, but the shoe gets discredited because it has that and all these. I don't know, sneakerheads just be like, you know. Oh, it's trash. It doesn't have this OG. Oh my God. You're trying to change up a classic. Yo, just stop, stop doing it. it. Give us a break. You know what I'm talking about? Let's get to the next kick. Yo. All white, godly, classic Air Force One. Yo, this shoe means a lot to me. Uh, it just does. It's a basic Air Force One. Highs, we don't wear lows. Well, we definitely don't wear mids. We don't wear mids. This is definitely a high for me, my favorite uh, Air Force One of all time. You know what I mean? A blank canvas. Uh, yeah, this means a lot to me. I'm just leave it at that. Uh, website coming soon, and you'll see all the type of things that I got going on as far as like, yo, fuck it. Let's go ahead and go to the next shoe. I'm getting sentimental with this shoe. This is the one of my most prized possessions. And I know it's 100 bucks, but it is what it is. Let's go to the next shoe. Sit this one down carefully. New pickup, new pickup, new pickup, new pickup, new pickup. Fire Red 5. Hey, if you haven't seen my video on these joints, go ahead. Go to the link, watch my video. These joints is extra fire, extra buttery. Just know, just know. Just get these in your collection. You gotta have the OG joints, man. You just gotta have them. Let's go to the next shoe. Woo! Now, I just showed you the OG joints, and now these are the metallic joints. Now, I didn't beat these things to the ground. Even the cage is starting to yellow. That airbag is like extra dusty. Yo, but we love them. I had to change out my laces. Took out the, I believe it was black laces right here. Put the white laces in there. Had to put white laces for the GOAT. You already know what time it is, you know what I'm saying? You already know what time it is. Let's go to the next shoe. Fire! Boom! Yo, this is the first Jordan one that I ever camped out for. I actually did not get this when I camped out. I end up, somebody ended up selling me a pair. This is definitely not my size, but I wear it anywhere. In Jordan 1s, I wear a size eight and a half to a size 10 and a half. 
<laughs> yo, I, I gotta do what I gotta do to make it work. Yo, I love this shoe. This will never leave my collection. Very special to me. 23 on this one. Yo, the qualities on this Jordan 1 is amazing. If you know, you know, man. That's that's, that's all I gotta say. Let's go to the next kit. Now, I don't even, yo, this is another Fearless, yeah. The Fearless Zoom Jordan 1. You see the bottom of the shoe. Yo, it's, yeah, it's changing that colors already in that light. Yo, these joints is kind of fire. Um, not height, you know, it does fit awkward. Definitely have to keep these in my collection though. These wasn't going nowhere. I wish I would've got a hat, a bigger size. I think I got, yeah, I got my size a size nine. If you never wore this shoe, go up half a size in this Jordan 1. I think that Zoom bag that's in there, yo, it, it sits up higher. It's like a higher ride. It feels great, but it makes everything else like super tight. This material, that's no go. But yo, I love Jordan 1. It's happy to get it. Let's go to the next kit. So we have a Jordan mid, blue to great. I don't know who blue to great is, but he got a Jordan 1, and I, I guess it's fire, and here it is. Uh, <laughs> Shoes go to me. Definitely gonna keep it. Good materials on this one. Not as good as the Laney though. You see? Hold on. Not as good as the Laney. This is not good materials. Not really good quality, but hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Let's go to the next Jordan one. Yo, got a Jordan 3. Now this is the Vogue shoe. Uh, the Ant and a Wintour. Uh, collaboration now some people thought this shoe was gonna be fire me I happen to be one of those people some people thought it was gonna be trash you know what I mean it is what it is this is a women's exclusive shoe but it is dope to me I really like the concept behind it as far as like the pole you know the black here that like represents and the winter shades and obviously the tweed you know what I mean even though this is not real tweed it is a dope collaboration love this shoe fire to me ladies got it Let's go to the next pair. So that was my top row. Now we're about to go ahead and go into my middle row. And then I think I'm gonna hit this side over here. No, I'm gonna hit my middle row, then I'm gonna hit the bottom row. And then I'm gonna start hitting everything on this side. Let's go. Boom! Oh, black Yeezys. These are the Yeezy 350s. Uh, recently came out. Got these off the app. Got lucky, I guess. But these are everywhere. I think they were even at Dick Sporting Goods. Let's go to the next pair. Yo, the Sage joints. Now, this has that all 3M right here. Yo, this is a fire shoe. Just did a review for it. I'll put like a little thing here. Yo, check that out. This is fire. Don't play yourself. Leave that like, leave that thumbs up, leave that feedback. Let's go to the next kick. Yo, I, this section that we're gonna do is pretty much gonna be all Yeezys. Now, I believe this pair was called the Yahil, the Yashai, or Yezekiel, or it's, it's something like that. Anyway, this is a dope shoe. Yo, I'm really glad I got this one. My wife loves this shoe. What more can you say? People be hating on Yeezys, man, saying Yeezys is dead. Let's go to the next one, man. Go to the next Yeezys. Everybody get Yeezys. You get Yeezys. You get Yeezys. You get Yeezys. Come on, what are we talking about? Yeezys. All black, the Vanta V2. Vanta V2s, got these joints, still haven't worn them. Um, hey, but I got them though. I'm gonna wear them. Just wait until the time is right. <laughs> Some people will say these are a brick. I like it though. I'm gonna build a house with all these bricks. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's go to the next kick. Ooh, fire! Got that Yeezy 3. This one right here, I love this shoe. Now, the details and everything with this shoe, that glow in the dark cage, you know what I mean? This shoe is dope. Only thing about this one, there is no boost. But as far as like comfortability, these are pretty comfortable, man. I watched a few videos when they first came out. I think Seth Fowler and a few other people put videos up. And they was talking about how uncomfortable it is. Yo, I thought it was dope. This is a dope shoe. I'm glad I got it inside my collection. I'm glad I got this colorway in my collection. Gotta have the OGs, man. And yo, for Yeezy to not be an athlete? Hey. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Come on now. Talk to me. Let's go. Let's go to the next shoe. Woo! Yo, this one was straight dope. The utility black Yeezy uh, 500. Dope shoe to me. Glad I got it in my collection. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. Basic Yeezy. If you've seen them all, if you've seen one, you've seen them all. Let's go to the next one, baby. Another Yeezy. Like I said, we're going to go through like all Yeezys right now. Hey, don't be mad at me. Don't hate me. Hate the game. Yo, that static. Yo, this is my second favorite Yeezy in my collection. My second favorite. Dope shoe, man. Really dope shoe. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. This shoe blinging. This is the first. This is the shoe I did my first 
like real on feet, like like a new style on feet that you never seen before. I can put a link to the video right here or something. Dope, dope, dope. That's when I first started with this whole on feet game. Let's go to the next shoe though. The number one dad shoe ever. So many people talk crap. So many people talk that trash about this shoe. Come on. Like, come on, come on, come on. Take it back, take it back. Yeezy, Yeezy's the man. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Bow! Yeezy basketball, bro. Now this one has a crazy story. I actually went viral uh, for this shoe, for giving away my fear of God to get this shoe. Yo, it, it's like crazy, man. It's like crazy. I was on all these things. If you look at the Brown Shoe vlog, you got me in there grabbing the box and being like, yes! You know what I'm saying? I was so happy to have this. Amazing, man. I love the game. I love the game. Was able to was actually able to double up on these and got another pair and was able to get my wife a pair. Uh, she can't fit it. She doesn't like the way the eight feel. Cause she usually wears like an eight, eight and a half. And uh, men, she doesn't like the eight. So she really needed a size nine. But you know what it is. So I got this pair. Might give this one away. Might hold on to it. Might use it for trade bait for something else. I don't know. Maybe when we get to a certain amount of subscribers, I can get this joint away. I don't know. Let's go to the next kit. Woo, yo. This one right here is the, uh, I don't even know what you call this one. I don't, I, 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 at least Yeezy's, they have so many names, but this one is static, okay? This is a static version. 3M all over the place. I think it's the, oh fuck, it's the Yeezy static. <laughs> Motherfucker fire. I don't fucking know, man. It, I guess that's why people be saying it's too many Yeezys out here. Now let's go to the next pair. Next shoe on the list, we got that gray 750 with the gum sole that actually glows in the dark. Now, this shoe is the first shoe that I actually paid resale for. Um, I should have bought it off of StockX at the time, but you know, StockX was new, so people really didn't know how it was working. I paid way too much for this shoe. I'm really ashamed of the amount that I paid, but I ended up buying it for my birthday at the time, so I just really wanted the Yeezy, and it was a great gun, 750 with the glow in the dark soul. I had to have it, you know what I mean? It was amazing. So, I did what I had to do. That's one in my collection. Let's go ahead and go to the next shoe. Hey, this joint is fire, though. Boom! Black 750, definitely did get this pair. Got this pair from Boneyard Chicago. Again, one of the best premium vintage shops in Chicago. If you're in Chicago, you gotta stop that Boneyard. Yo, that's why I got these joints for. So happy I got them. These are fire, 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 fire. Had to have them in my collection. Yo, I had the brown 750s too, uh, but you know, <sighs> life, life bites you in the ass. Bites you. Let's get to the next shoe. Yo, so I did a crazy on foot of this shoe right here. This is the UC 500 Slate. The high, um, I was on the train tracks. My brother actually went up there with me. I can uh, put a link to that video right here. Waiting on the plug to call me back. Um, yo, this joint is fire to me. Um, I've actually seen these going for 50 bucks. So when Kanye said everybody can have Yeezys, everybody who wants Yeezys can have them because you can get this pair for 50 bucks. My buddy Hendrick sent me a picture, I mean a link. I guess he was trying to talk shit. But guess what? I love this shoe. I love it. Let's go to the next kit. So, that was all the Yeezys in my collection that I have so far. Now I'm gonna go ahead and attack this bottom row. I know you guys can't see it. So it is a few hype items down there. It is a few garbage items down there. But yo, the items are down there. Let's go ahead and get into this first item right about now. Boom! Yo, for Air Max month, yo, they came out with these joints, the Air Max. The Air Jordan Air 97 Neon, you know, them things, man. This is a good shoe. Haven't worn this shoe outside yet. Definitely do have it. I am going to give this pair to my mom. Uh, she keep asking for that heat. Well, mom, here's the heat. You know what I'm saying? I think this shoe is dope. I would keep it for myself. Great materials, but you know, it is what it is. Mom dudes keep bugging me. So I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> Give them to her, but let's go ahead and get to the next shoe. <laughs> Yo, this Jordan 1, it's a dope Jordan 1 to me. Now, this is the Gucci Jordan 1. Um, these came out in 2008, uh, then they re released again, I believe, in 2000. Uh, 
13, 14, 15, 16. I'm not sure, but they re-released again. This is actually the re-release pair. I had the other pair, the Black Laser Premium pair. That pair is amazing to me. Um, I definitely saw a couple other shoes that I'm gonna get. I pretty much traded um, a pair of my Defiant um, Jordan 1s and some other shoe that I'm gonna use that to get that other pair, that other Laser pair. I think and I had another pair of Shy 3s. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that to get this other pair. Anyway, this is fire. Let's go to the next kick. Can't stay too long. Let's go. Boom! The Travis Scott Jordan 1. Now, this is a DS pair. I got this pair from uh, the Jordan store downtown. Actually, I ended up getting a pair from St. Alfred. And uh, Q, uh, the influencer, ended up getting his pair, this pair right here from... Um, the Jordan store. Um, this is a size nine. This is my pair. Um, I end up getting his size 13 because he loves Travis Scott. So I got his size. I was like, yo, I get your size. And if you happen to be able to get my size, get my size. I was as, you know, I had the opportunity to secure his pair immediately. So that's exactly what I did. I didn't look out for self. I looked out for my guy. You know what I mean? So that's that. Travis Scott Jordan 1 does have it in my collection. I am doing a giveaway for this shoe. Once we get to 2,000 subscribers, I am giving this shoe away to one lucky subscriber. It could be you. Hopefully you subscribe. Hopefully you follow the rules. Um, I'll try to link that video here too. Hopefully there's enough links. Hopefully I can do all these links, man. If I can't, man, hey, you just gotta go ahead and find that joint. Let's go to the next video. Woo! The Tom Sachs Mars Yard. Yo. Yo, I like this shoe. A lot of people say this shoe is trash. I actually like it. I actually wore it. I actually did a video on it downtown. Yo, it's fresh to me. People like to talk, you know what I mean? But you know, it is what it is. This joint is straight fire. To me, to me. Let's go to the next kit. Can you guess what the next shoe is? Can you, can you guess? The hat should have been a clean giveaway. It is the Just Dime. Two in the beach colorway. This is the best shoe Just Don has made with Jordan Brand, yo. This joint is amazing. I know the resale value is not like all the way up there. I end up, ha I had this pair originally. I bought it originally um, from the Jordan store. Uh, people broke into my crib. This is a pair of shoes that they did take. I guess it was the big red box. They took those. Probably didn't even know what the fuck to do with those. That was a, a DS pair. This pair I have more. Uh, <gasps> once to a party um yo i love this shoe and this shoe is actually my size i ended up getting it below retail i think i ended up paying like 450 for a pair and yo that's that's powerful and it was ds at the time so one of my favorite shoes had to get this back in the collection let's go to the next one boom yo and i already know what you're thinking yo you're thinking like yo i thought you gave that shoe away i thought you gave that away well, if you watch my videos, you'll know exactly how I end up getting this shoe right back in the collection. This is the first fear guide to release. I end up getting this shoe from RSVP from a raffle. Amazing, because I never win those in a size nine. That is the money size. And so that's why I never win raffles. Glad I got this one. Let's go to the next one. I feel like a Jerry boy. Hey, I got a video coming up too, please, yo. I got a video coming up. Let's go to the next pair, though. Boom, hey, yo, another fear guide. Now, this fear guide is extra clean. Yo, uh, damn. I cleaned one shoe, but I didn't clean the other shoe. So, um, I was drinking with a buddy of mine. He spilled Hennessy on my joints, man. Bruh. So, hopefully I can get that out of there without messing up the suede. Yo, it's a dope shoe. Very easy to get messed up. As you can see, I wore them one time, one time, and one time was enough for these to get jacked up, bro. <sighs> Damn. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Let's go to the next kick, man. Damn. Boom. Yes, yes, yes. You see it. This is the yellow Fear God. This is the third and final installment of Fear Gods in my collection. Definitely wasn't able to get the other pair. I have a yellow fear guy, so happy to have that. Gave away some stuff to get this pair. Not some, I gave away some stuff. It, now I ain't mad about it neither. I would do it again in a heartbeat. This shoe is going for like a ridiculous amount on StockX. Uh, I know if I had to buy this shoe, I definitely would not be buying this shoe. I think I've seen this shoe go for five, five bands. Crazy, yo. Yo, Jerry did one with this one. I'm glad it's in my possession. Let's get to the next shoe. So, 
that was the top rack, the middle rack, and the bottom rack of my collection. Now we're about to go over all this stuff on this side. Bro, yo, this video, this is a long video. If you if you stuck in and you and you watching, man, yo, I really do appreciate you. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to edit this video. Hey, but I gotta I gotta do what I gotta do. Let's go ahead and keep it moving. Let's keep up the pace. I'm not trying to keep you here forever. Let's go. Boom. Air Jordan 1 lasers. Fire. Should have got them if you didn't get them. I got them. I love them. Let's go. Another classic. Like I told you guys, I was trying to do that whole brick colorway situation. So I got them Jordan 4s. Couldn't let these pass me up. Nike Air on the back. Come on, Chief. Come on. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. You got to rock with me. If you rock with me, you got to keep rocking with me. Let's get it. 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 Another off-white sneaker. This is my uh, second off-white sneaker that I'm showing you guys. Off-white Chuck Taylors. The second pair. Um... Yeah, it's a Chuck Taylor man, just with that off-white situation. You know what's funny that he makes shoes that look just like this with the whole off-white lines on it just like this that don't do well. You gotta think about that. You gotta think about that. Yeah, but these Jordan 6s right here, my favorite, favorite shoe. I'm sure that you can see in the camera that 3M poking out right there. Yo, my favorite, favorite, favorite Jordan silhouette, favorite model. Favorite. Mine. Let's go. Need I say more? Black power face? Yo, I think I've had every colorway of like the NMD, the hue. Uh, this is the pink pair. Uh, it's a pretty dope pair. But you know, it is what it is. Don't have any of the other pairs, but I do have this one. This is a nice summertime shoe, even though it's pink. You know, real men wear pink and purple and marble and all those other colors. You wear it next shoe now this shoe right here this is the first shoe that i ever got from sneaker con now this is before schomburg and all the big arenas this is when sneaker con used to come to chicago and it was at the armory on thorndale right by my old high school uh yo i love this shoe this shoe would be a dope shoe if lebron actually won the chip that year this was his last year in miami they did not win after this year he ended up going back to cleveland they call this the cramp pack because he kept getting cramps come on brian come on i actually when i bought these at sneaker con i ended up getting these exactly for retail the guy sold them to me for retail his little brother did and the guy was pissed that he sold them to me. But you know, I heard up and got about that jam. Love this shoe. Love it. Let's go to the next shoe. So this shoe has recently got inside of my collection. Um, this is not something that I bought. Somebody uh, hit me up, well Q hit me up and was like, yo, you gotta get this shoe. It's a leader's uh, friends and family. It's a friends and family shoe, uh, which is, uh, I don't know how true that is. Um, so I did a little research on this shoe. I found that it did, it, it did release. Um, so this is not just a friends and family shoe. It definitely is a Chicago uh, shoe. It definitely is from Leaders, uh, but I don't know. What I will say about the shoe is that the leather is like superb. Very, 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 very good, good quality leather. I'm just not really feeling this on the back of the shoe. But you know, for 60 bucks, yeah, okay. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. I bought it off of somebody. You know, you look like they look like they never worn it. Uh, they don't have the original box, which actually sucks. Hopefully, I can get an interview with uh, one of the guys, the leaders, and they can tell me what was the inspiration behind the shoe. And their new model of shoe is the same. They new sh their new shoe is the same exact model. And I would like to know like more, like what's so significant about this model of shoe. Uh, and maybe they could talk about it. I don't know. You got the little speckle stars right there. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a review on that. Maybe tag somebody. Maybe somebody can tell me more and give me more information about the shoe. Let's go to the next one, though. All white Vapor Max. Yo, this Vapor Max, I love this Vapor Max. I actually won this from RSVP again. Uh, doing a raffle this is one of my favorite shoes. I wear this all the time. This is like my vacation shoe. Whenever I go on vacation, I wear this, obviously, because I'm in nice, warm places. And I can't wait to go to another nice, warm place when this whole situation is over with. And I can hop on a plane. Your boy needs to get up out of here. I'm trying to get it. Let's go ahead and get to the next shoe. My favorite shoe out of the original 10 collection. My favorite. Let's go to the next shoe. <laughs> Another power phase. Hey, we're not talking about power phases. Let's go to the next shoe. Very underrated shoe. Alexander Wayne 
um, reissue run. Dope shoe. Um, very, uh, very stepped on shoe. The only thing I hate about this shoe is like the lacing system. And no one knows how to lace them. It's too tight. You know what I mean? I don't know how to loosen it up. Come on, man. They're gonna make a shoe, like give a manual on how to lace these joints. But these Alexander Wang things are fire though. I do wear them often. It's not a beater to me. Next shoe. Not a hype shoe, but this is the Stranger Things. Um, what, what, what kind of shoe is this? What is this called? Uh, the Stranger Things Air Trail Win. You know what I mean? Underneath this is a layer of something else. Um, maybe I'll do a video of blowtorch in it. I've seen somebody else do it. My uh, friend's brother actually does YouTube videos. He uh, blowtorched his. Or I did it with a lighter or something. Uh, I might try it. Mm, I don't know. Maybe. I kind of like it how it is though. Let's go to the next shoe. Now, these things come in a trash bag and some would say that's where they belong, but I don't believe so. These are the Pusha T's, Equal T, EQT. This is the black money bag one. I wish I had the cream pair. That's the one that I really wanted. But this black pair, I like this pair also. Definitely do rock this pair, has been rocked. Got this for 80 bucks. One shoe says King, the other shoe says Push. You know what I'm saying? Focus that in for you guys. Anyway, that's that. You already know, I'm gonna put this back in this trash bag. Yep, back in the trash bag it goes. Next shoe. Now, I haven't worn this shoe in like a bazillion years, but this is the Y3 Casa all white joint. Anyway, um, I always thought I wanted a pair of Y3s because it was Adidas and they cost so much. Don't know why it costs so much because this is not boost. It doesn't feel amazing. These things actually hurt your feet. They're like actually hard. Uh, hate the way the shoe feels. Uh, nice looking shoe, but just something to have. Next shoe. Now, this shoe is from season four. It is in my collection. This is a Yeezy crep boot. Uh, yeah, I bought it. I didn't only buy one. One second. I bought two of these damn boots, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Yeah. Next shoe. Back to another Jordan. This is the Jordan 6 DMP. Um, one shoe is white and the other one, it came with the uh, sevens. Um, the sevens I destroyed and ended up donating them. Uh, so all I do is, all I have now is the six. Hopefully when the next uh, DMPs come out, hopefully if I can get my hands on those a little bit quicker, I can do a review of both DMPs and saying, what if we had a DMP pack like this? That would be kind of fire, right? Anyway, let's go to the next shoe. Boom, got the photo reel joints. Now, this was like an all-star exclusive. People were like going crazy over this at one point in time uh, I actually tried to trade this in it is not DS I actually paid Balinese um, try to trade them in nobody wanted to take them you know what I mean they wanted, they wanted to give me what I thought they were worth I think these go for like 600 bucks on stock X but used I don't know nobody wants them man anyway I rock with the shoe definitely no basketball shoe I guess I'm gonna have to keep it in my collection but let's go ahead and go to the next shoe this is kind of fire though I don't know Yo, Laser Force, my boy M put me on to these. He actually took me to go buy these. Got these for a pretty decent price. Um, these are not hype, but this is a dope shoe in my opinion. I wore these, brought these back out, and it was just fire. I felt like it was fire. Anyway, let's go ahead, let's get to the next shoe. Yo, this joint, I can't believe I haven't worn this. I kind of forgot that I had this in my collection. Now I was, Extra thirsty for this shoe to come back out. Still got the plastic on the copper there. Um, yo, I love this shoe. I think I'm gonna start rocking this a little bit more. Yeah, I think I only worn it once. Haven't played ball in it, but this is like one of my favorite shoes. That's actually after the 14. This is the only shoe that I like that came out after the 14. Crocodile right here on the back. Copper right there. Hey, yo, this is a dope shoe. Don't ever play yourself. Hey, Jordan, you had one, baby, but you actually played in these too. Guess you only make the good shit that you play in. <laughs> Let's go to the next shoe. Another Jordan joint. Yo, these are really dirty and I don't even know why these are dirty like that. This is a Jordan 20. You know what I mean? Obviously I wore it. <laughs> it's got like a whole bunch of dirt. I might have to put these to the side and clean it. Yo, but I rock with these. Something different, I guess. I don't know. I bad it all, man. At least I try. You want them? You want them? New York. Yo, 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 I actually forgot I had this one too. OVO 12s, man. All black OVO 12s. Uh, dope shoe, man. Dope. I just, I don't know. I think I just outgrew the whole OVO branding. You know what I mean? That whole thing. You know what I mean? 
I think because we all outgrew it. Like, yeah. I don't want nothing to do with Drake and shoes. But keep Drake in my my iPod or inside my you know my phone or whatever on iTunes and yeah, I don't really care about Drake. If you want, do yours. So to the man in front. <laughs> these are my barbecue shoes. I actually wear these when I barbecue. This is a dope shoe, man. This is the the sweater joints. I can't remember. Anyway, dope shoe, dope seven. Um, I don't know. I don't know why these wasn't hype. I ended up getting these when the uh, Jordan store opened up downtown. Those two, but no one really cares about them. It's even starting to yellow at the toe. I guess because I don't wear them. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to the next shoe. Boom, yo, these are the Five Lab Threes. Now, this shoe came out, I think, in 2011. Uh, this is a dope concept. I always wonder, why did they stop this? Anybody know why they stopped this? I don't know, let me know. Anyway, let's get to the next shoe. We're almost done. We're almost at the finish line. Let's get to the next shoe. Carolina 11s. You know what I'm saying? This is a dope shoe. All white. You know what I'm saying? Definitely warm. Uh, it's starting to yellow on me, man. That's the only thing I hate about all white shoes. When they start yellowing, they start yellowing. And that shit, that shit kind of sucks. Is it a way to stop the shoe from yellowing? To kind of like delay that aging process? If you have any ideas, if you know something, let me know. Let's get to the next shoe. Let's go. I'm almost done. Whew, the 72 and 10 Jordan 11, yo. This is a dope shoe. The only thing about this shoe, it stopped being so dope once the Warriors uh, broke the record. Once the Warriors broke the record, the 72 and 10 things, it just became nothing. You know what I mean? Nobody liked the shoe anymore. Warriors broke the 72 and 10. Come on, man. Got the Gamma. LeBron Dangs. Yo, bought this shoe. I thought this shoe was gonna be fire. I don't know what was I thinking. Definitely was not good on court. This traction pattern, bullshit. For real. Trash. Next shoe, man. No wonder why he ain't win the chip that year. Come on, bro. Y'all think you can just play in anything? Come on, get him some better shoes. My peppermint ice cream. Blazers, yo, I love this shoe. This is one of my favorite shoes in my collection. You gotta keep it clean, good suede. Got that waffle cone, Nike check. You know what I'm saying, gum sole. Yo, I was wearing blazers before Virgil was making blazers. And Virgil did not come up with the whole exposed tongue. It was already on blazers, fam. It was already on blazers. Just saying, just saying. Next shoe. Yo, this is a fire one. This is the Sakai Nike Blazer. This pair is actually DS. Glad I still got this pair. The actual, actually the price went back up on Sakai's, man. I might go ahead and get this up out of here and so I can get something really good, man. I've been trying to get those off-white fives or maybe even, um, I don't know, something dope, man. Just been letting go of old shoes. Glad I haven't worn this one. But this is a dope shoe too. Oh. That smells really good. Yeah, maybe this won't go nowhere. I like this one. This ain't going nowhere. Sakai Blazer. Only Sakai I got in my collection now, man. Long story. Let's, let's. Copper Foams. Yo, we got three more shoes left in the collection. The Copper Foams. So happy I got this pair. End up getting this pair at the outlets for $75. Talk about a steal. This shoe is not DS. It might look DS, but I've actually worn it uh, a couple times. This is a dope shoe. Yo, 75 bucks, can't beat it, man. Love this shoe. My son even loves this shoe. He had this shoe, loved it. Let's get to the next pair. Almost down, three left. Gone fishing phone posits. Bro, my son had this pair also. This is his favorite shoe. Definitely my favorite shoe. I love that it came with like a fishing net. Like, I don't know what this was for because it definitely wasn't it doesn't do anything, but maybe it's just to make it look cool. Keep it inside the bag. You know, I caught a fish. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Anyway, got him. Last shoe. Last shoe. It's, it's so ironic that this is the last shoe. This is the the Kobe Bryant, the Laker colorway of the Hirachi now. Kobe is like my favorite uh, basketball player. I definitely did not plan this uh, for this to be the last shoe in my collection. Um, I had plenty of other Kobe's, but they like beat the shit. Um, I love this shoe. Uh, yeah, man. 
I don't know. I don't know what else to say. But anyway, that was all the sneakers inside my collection. Um, yo, this is the the best. This is not the best sneaker in my collection, but this is one of my favorite. I do have the original colorway of the uh, Hirachis, the blue and white ones also. They're somewhere in the house. Um, I love this shoe, man. Uh, love Kobe too, man. RIP to him. Uh, yeah, man. So that was it, man. How did you guys like my collection? I know this video was long. I had to take a couple breaks when shooting it. I was starting to get tired. Um, yo, but that's my collection. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you can, you can like, subscribe to the channel. This is gonna be a long video. I don't expect a billion people to watch it, but it, it is a uh, dope video. Uh, hopefully you liked it, you know what I mean? Thanks for rocking with me. Thanks for like looking at my collection. How's you guys next time? Man, I'm tired, man. I got a lot of shit. I gotta let some of this stuff go. Website coming soon. A um, whole bunch of other stuff coming soon. Uh, I'm going to have some sneakers and stuff on that website when it comes up. Thanks for rocking with me, guys. How's you guys next time? Peace. Jesus. Can't see myself out the game. No time soon.